Welcome. We are on number 12, the highly anticipated 12th performance. Uh, Dog days are over by Florence and Machine. Uh, been looking forward to this every single day since I posted the last video. So uh, let's see what this is all about. First up is our Texas team that's always pushing the limits of acapella. We checked in with the judges to get their thoughts on the inventive vocalists of Pentatonix. Pentatonics freakish. These guys are making it hot with five. That's hard to do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Every one of those kids packs a punch in a big way. I think so Pentatonics could be competitive in the music world. They're really innovative and they fuse pop <laughs> and acapella and make it into this really cool thing. You're doing things that are the future. Their arrangements are very risky and they work. They did some real ill stuff with Video Kill the Radio Star. They made themselves skip. Yeah. Video Kill the Radio Star. Who would think of that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Pentatonix challenge is gonna be are they gonna do anything new? I mean, how much more new stuff can come out of them? The whole trick is don't become too ambitious with their arrangements where they lose sight of the feeling of the original record. That could be the difference in them staying or leaving. All right, let's see what the judges have in store for Pentatonix. Sarah, what song did you guys choose? Well, Pentatonix has a style all their own, and they are always so innovative in their arrangements and pushing the boundaries. So we wanted to challenge them to reimagine a song that has a lot going on, a super powerful lead vocal and some pretty serious drums and percussion. So we chose Florence and the Machines, Dog Days Are Over. Thank you, Sarah. Oh, boy. Well, this day ends with the spot in the finale, performing this year's mega hit, Dog Days Are Over by Florence and the Machine, here is Pentatonix. So good. She hid around corners and she hid under beds. She killed it with kisses and her arms she fled. The dark days are over. The dark days are done. The horses are coming. So you and I. I'm not going to pause it much during this because this is unbelievable, but uh, everything is on point right now. The beginning, the the high notes and the bass at the beginning, them, them dancing. I mean, this looks like a super well rehearsed. Uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm rewinding it. I gotta stop rewinding it.
Scott. Settle down. Wow, that was really, really good. Uh, guys weren't lying about that one. I, I felt like there was five lead singers going on in that group in this performance. Uh, there was definitely three. I don't know. That was so well put together. The way they sped the beat up when they started walking forward both of those times. And uh, the, Kirsty was going off. Mitch was going off. Scott, I mean, there was so much going on in that video that... I feel like it needs to be watched five times so you can pick up all the different stuff that was going on. Pentatonics. Ending it on a high note. All right, all right, all right. About time Shot. Mitch got a little shot to do something. man, you guys are ridiculous. Ridiculous, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> that was like audio drama. We're coming down to the wire of this record contract. So you want to have something that you know that you can play, and everybody is like, yo, that is crazy. That's what, you know, this whole thing is about. Um, Mitch. Woo! It's about time. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, man. You have one of the prettiest voices I have ever heard in my life. Facts. It was so many elements that... It's too bad that Mitch didn't do something like that in the rest of the performances. They would have been saying that the whole time. But then again, I get it. There's so much moving pieces in Pentatonix, and there's only, what, 12, 13, 14? I'm not even sure how many performances there are. So I bet you the judges uh, know all of the talent in the group at this point. Years down the road, though. It was just... It was so many elements that was just ear candy from Kevin and the horse hooves and the choo-choo trains that you were doing to, you know, the breakdown to Mitch. And, and that was so ingenious. Like, the way that you guys were able to just give Mitch his moment. And you were... Oh, that was... Man... It was a wonderful performance. That was awesome. Sarah. You guys are just, you're riveting on stage. You know how to use your instrument. And it's a God-given gift. And you guys all have it. So really, really fantastic performance. I learned today that three of you are 19 years old. <laughs> Mr. Scott, wow. singing lead on that, is, is 19. Am I correct? That's crazy. Miss Kirsty is 19 years old, and Mr. Mitch is 19 years old as well. So what we have here is a young group of people that show so much promise and potential to become even that much more great over time. I love hearing you sing. Well done, you guys. It was that fantastic. Crazy how young they are. Ben? A surprise is a rare gift in a musical arrangement. They're hard to come by, and you guys always give us one or two of those in every performance. And that one was where Mitch popped in this time. And it's not just about the fact that he has a beautiful voice, which he does. Partially the way you guys set that up. And, uh, and then you get a yeah. surprise. You guys were so focused. And Avi didn't even want to let go of the focus after the song was done. Yeah. He was just like, my God. That. <laughs> 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 I just hear, yeah, I did. Just hear a curdling Avi from the crowd. That's really in the moment amazing. Thanks for the surprises, guys. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Nice work. All right, judges. We'll find out in moments if Pentatonix will be standing tall in the season finale. Thank you, guys. After that, I would hope so. This has always been my dream. And now that I can do my dream and like to be recognized like I have it all seen it and just a dream come true to me. And I feel so blessed to share with these people. They're my family now. And I want to do this for the rest of my life. And I want to do it with them. Yeah, so from the beginning they were talking about how they take risks with arrangements and all that stuff. There's only five people in the world that could have put that version of that song and the way they arranged it together and it was unbelievable also the outfits 
the dancing. It looked like they might have had a month to prepare for this one or something. I don't know. Yeah, and let me know. I'll, I mean, I'll look it up if I have to. I didn't want to ruin the songs, but I, I hope that wasn't the last song. I think there's more songs, I hope. But yeah, I absolutely loved it. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. All that good stuff. Happy holidays, and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next video, if there is one.